So continuing on from our last video, what we're going to do now is add that code into our robots to figure out when they get hit by a bullet and how to die. Now what I did in the meantime is I created this animation using uh, PiscalApp.com and I'll put a link of that under the video. It's an unbelievable place where you can draw pixel art and also animate it and I imported it in. In a future video I'll show you how to very quickly import sprite sheets into a stencil which is one of the best things ever. It means that you can just throw in animations in one mouse click and have animations running. So I've got this puff of smoke animation. What's going to happen is every time a robot gets hit by a bullet, the animation is going to switch to this smoke and the robot is going to die. So let's get going straight away with that. Let's go to our events. We've still got our old events there. We're going to make a brand new one, which is going to be a collision and it's going to be a type and a type, like so. Now with the type and a type, of course, we have to choose the two objects or the two actors that are gonna hit. First actor is obviously going to be the bullet, and the second actor is, of course, going to be the robot. So what we have here is when a bullet hits a robot, and what we want to do is switch the animation to smoke. Now let's just check the spelling of that. Yeah, it's all small case and smoke. So we're going to switch the animation to smoke. Now let's just do a very quick check of that because I want to see whether this works or whether it doesn't. So let's just see what happens when the bullet hits the robot. And of course, nothing happens. And the reason why nothing happens is because if you remember, inside the groups, we have told the bullets, which are players, to not react when they hit actors. And we now have a problem here. And that problem being that our test monkey is an actor, our robot is an actor, and our enemy bullet is a player. And of course, if you remember, when we went to the players and added the actors, the bullet didn't work. So in this case, what we're going to have to do is create a brand new group. And what we're going to do is put the robot in there. So let's do that right now. We're going to create a new group. It's going to be called bad guys, like so. And in the description, you really don't have to put anything. But for here, I'll just write bad guys go here. We're going to create that. So we've got bad guys. You can see that there's a small icon, which means that we created it. And what we'll say is this. A bad guy is allowed to collide with an actor and a player, not with other bad guys. And of course, it has to collide with tiles. Otherwise, the robots are just going to fall through the floor. We'll press OK to that. We'll go to the robot. We're going to now click on that little drop down and say the robot is now a bad guy. And if you just recall, bad guys are allowed to collide with actors. That's our monkey. Players, that's our bullet. And the tiles, which they are walking on. I'm going to do a quick test of that just to see if it works when that bullet hits the robot the robot should now turn into smoke and if it doesn't work we're going to have to fix the problem that we've just created so let's see if our hard work paid off well that's pretty good now we've of course introduced quite a huge problem here but let's have a look now let's spot all the problems that we've got well there's the obvious problem which is one robot hit all robots die that of course isn't what we want because the game is too easy so let's see the other problems that we've got if you concentrate really hard you'll see the bullet bouncing off the robot and just disappearing into air but it looks really bad and thirdly we've got an animation which now just won't stop so we've got quite a few problems to solve so let's go and solve them one by one back to the robot events let's see what we've actually said so far which is kind of understandable. We've just said when an enemy bullet hits a robot, switch the animation to smoke. Now the first thing we need to fix is how to kill only the robot that is hit by the bullet and not all robots. And the solution to this is actually really cool. If you look at this top line over here, we've got the enemy bullet, which is the first actor, and robot one, which is the second actor. So we've got the first actor hitting the second actor. And what we're going to say is switch the animation to smoke for the second actor. So we just pick it up off there and put it there. Equally, what we can do right now is to say we want to kill 
the first actor. So let's just test that out and see if it works. So if it's working correctly, as I shoot one robot, only that robot will turn to smoke and the bullet itself is now going to be destroyed or killed and then we'll work on how to get the robot to actually die because according to my code it will just kind of go up in smoke and stay there so let's let's do that so that's really cool because what we've done is killed only one robot but of course now the robot is just smoking and not dying so what we need to do is also get rid of the robot after we shoot it and to kill the robot outright what we're going to do is go to our flow go to our time do after let's do another 0 0.5 seconds and then what we'll do is we will kill the actor and again we are going to pick up the second actor and put it there so switch the animation to smoke for the second actor so that's the smoke animation kill the first actor which is the bullet and do after 0 0.5 seconds kill the second actor let's test that out so let's have a look yeah it's perfect I don't know if 0 0.5 is the correct amount of time but it actually looks really cool because the robot just goes up in smoke and then disappears and also if you concentrate really hard the bullet just disappears the second that happens which is kind of really cool because the bullet itself shouldn't be on the screen any longer because of course it destroyed the robot so the bullet doesn't need to be on the screen anymore so that's a really quick way of fixing those problems there and I think you'll agree it looks really quite cool in our next video what we'll try to do is bring a more Mario bullet or a Mario game style bullet to our game because what we've got right now is a bullet which kind of acts like a laser it just goes in a straight line and just shoots all the way to the other side of the screen to kill other things. Now for those of you who've played Mario Brothers as much as I have, you know that when we fire a bullet in Mario Brothers, the bullet comes out and bounces on the floor, which has a really cool effect. So what we'll do in the next video is see if we can add a bounce and some gravity to our bullet to make it kind of look a little bit more cool.